For the annual Geminid meteor shower, it's happening later on tonight. At its peak, you can actually see about 120 meteors per hour. But another cosmic body is crashing the party, so to speak. So joining us now to talk about that is Kelly Beatty, senior editor of Sky and Telescope. Uh, Kelly, great to see you this morning. Great to see you, Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. So for those who don't know, let's explain, first of all, what exactly is a Geminid meteor shower? Sure, the Geminids are called that because these are meteors or shooting stars that appear to radiate from the constellation Gemini, which rises up over the horizon about nine o'clock local time. So they should be available to you all night long. All right, let's talk about the party crasher. What's happening this year that may actually interfere, interfere with the viewing? Yeah, that 120 per hour that you talked about, boy, that's in an ideal situation. We've got a big, bright full moon, and that's going to severely impact how many meteors you can see. But you should still be able to see the bright ones, even with the moonlight nearby. So when is going to be the best time to head out and check it out? Well, as I said, any time all night, and, and in fact, if it's cloudy tonight, don't worry about it. You can go out tomorrow night as well, although there won't be as many. Uh, but that moon will be a problem. What I suggest people do is to find a spot where the moon is blocked from view, behind a building or a tree or whatever. Anywhere in the sky is where you can see these meteors. You don't have to look in any one direction. And again, any time all night long would be fine. And how does the Geminid meteor shower this year stack up against other annual showers? You know, this is a sleeper. A lot of people know about the Perseid meteor shower in August, but this is actually a, a very consistent performer, one of the top two or three all year. Unfortunately, it comes in December when it's often <laughs> very cold, but it has the plus of being uh, visible soon after sunset, which not all of them are. Yeah, I like the Perseids that go on in the warmer time of the year, right? Uh, we do have a look at the forecast, Kelly. Uh, as you said, though, the cloud cover shouldn't matter as much. It's going to be a little cloudy across the Gulf Coast, but I think the West is going to have a great viewing of it. The Northeast, uh, a few raindrops to interfere with your viewing of the Geminid meteor shower. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us.